Well, as this extreme cold weather has gripped much of the U.S. over the past couple of weeks, the number of flu cases are really spiking all over the country. Western New York is one of the areas getting hit hard. Catholic Health is being forced to take steps to prevent the flu from spreading. It has issued a temporary visitor restriction for children under the age of 14 at all Catholic Health hospitals. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan tells us what to look out for this flu season. I think a good way to describe the flu um, is kind of getting hit by a brick wall. Dr. Kevin Shiley says some patients who are diagnosed with the flu say it's the most sick they have ever felt. Some of the symptoms can be pretty brutal. Pain and aches all over the body, weakness or fatigue, sore throat, dry cough, and a high fever. The virus is also highly contagious and can be caught just by being near someone who is infected. Shiley runs the infection prevention and control efforts for Catholic Health and keeps a close watch on patients during flu season. This year we're seeing a, a pretty dramatic increase in the number of influenza cases coming into our health care facilities. Particularly over the past two weeks we've seen a dramatic rise. And that rise in cases of flu is not just happening here in Buffalo. According to the Centers for Disease Control, 46 states, including New York, are seeing widespread influenza activity. And since cases are still on the rise, doctors aren't sure if the flu season has hit its peak, which means it's not clear how much worse these outbreaks are going to get. For many people with the flu simply taking ibuprofen or acetaminophen along with rest and lots of fluid will help beat the flu in a handful of days. But doctors still recommend getting a flu vaccine if you haven't already. The vaccine is not perfect, but it definitely uh, reduces the risk of developing influenza in a lot of patients. And even if uh, patients do develop flu, it seems to reduce the likelihood that they're going to have a complication. In Buffalo, Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News.